Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds or PUBG on the GeForce CTX 1050 2GB for performance monitoring this time I won't be using Cam due to Battlelight which is the anti-cheat software this game uses so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner so PUBG I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip turn up those sections of the video check the timestamps down in the description well first I'll show you the G4560 on both 1080p and 720p as you can see the maximum frame rate it can get, it can usually be over 60 frames per second with the quote unquote competitive settings, but if you try the maximum settings even at 720p the game will stutter quite a bit, it happened to me even on better CPUs using this card. Then I switched to the i3-8100 and I showed you two configurations on 1080p, 900p and 720p. First the competitive settings, trying to get the highest frame rate possible, but the aesthetics of the game are not being destroyed that much, to say it in some way, and then I just crank it up to the max, except in textures because we only have 2 gigs of VRAM, I cannot go over the low texture option, if not it will go over the 2 gigs of VRAM limit, and that'll be about it. I need to discuss some things about the options menu, first of all, never max the game out, even with higher end hardware I had a lot of stuttering problems with the game, lower foliage to the lowest, it controls the draw distance of foliage, just lower it to the minimum, so if there is someone hiding on grass very far into the distance, you'll be able to see them, Pretty much everybody has this lowered to the minimum. It doesn't decrease the amount of foliage, it decreases the draw distance of it. Then a lower post-processing and effects. The biggest impact of post-processing is the ambient occlusion. There's ambient occlusion in the post-processing option, so you'll see the game a little more flat. If you want to have ambient occlusion, just put post-processing on low, so you have some of that visual stuff. Then the effects, I just lower them to the minimum. I don't see any difference at all. Maybe when there are explosions in the red zones, or something like that, but really I didn't see much of a difference at all in this case. Ultra shadows in my opinion in this game are a waste, they don't seem to be performing well at all, so just put those on low, from very low to low I didn't see much of a difference with performance, but if you want slightly better shadows just crank them up to medium, there are still character shadows even at the lowest settings on shadows, so you won't have much of an advantage by just lowering shadows, since there are still some present even at the lowest settings. And finally anti-aliasing, it seems to be some kind of TAA, the usual one that you see on most Unreal Engine 4 titles, so if you're gonna get up to the max it's not a huge impact in performance, but it can give you a few extra frames if you're limited by the GPU, but overall those are the settings in the options menu. The competitive settings, for saying it some way, is to keep view distance on ultra, so you can see very far into the distance, mostly buildings and all that kind of stuff. Then foliage effects, post-processing and anti-aliasing on the lowest as well. Shadows on low, since from very low to low there's not a huge performance difference. And that should give you the best frame rate possible. The static doesn't change that much, to be honest. If you want a little better graphics with the competitive settings, just crank up post-processing from very low to low. And that should be about it. You'll have I mean, occlusion and some extra depth to the graphics. I'll be playing the same place over and over, but the game, since it's multiplayer, it will be always different. So I'll be dropping very close to bootcamp, and then I'll just approach the bootcamp area. And that should be a consistent enough test, since I cannot control what other players are doing. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time!